What's up guys, how you doing? It is Philip Starred again here and this is episode number three or part three of the Visual VM series and in this episode of the series what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how you can, I'm going to basically create an out of memory error of the application but when that out of memory error um, is going to occur we want to basically perform a heap dump on the out of memory error and then what we can do is take that heap dump and import the heat dump into Visual VM to see what the heck was going on in our application when it went out of, out, out of memory, because we never want to see that out of memory or that is, uh, oh, it just gives me the shakes when I even think about it. So we never want to see that. Um, <laughs> depends on the size of your application, maybe you don't have enough memory, or you have a memory leak or some disasters is going on. But let's see what we can do about it. So First thing I want to do is go to my uh, run configurations here and what we're going to do is basically add some uh, VM arguments to the application. So don't worry about these, I just set them in because I like to see when the GC is running and whatnot. First thing we want to do is put in um, uh, an argument called heap dump on out of memory error. So what that's going to do is create a heap dump on the location of where the executable is launched from. So that's related to where this project is. So it's going to come in fill up dash performance directory and it's going to be named java underscore PID, so process ID, and then the ID of the actual uh, JVM process that's executing. Um, and what we want to do is we want to actually perform this. So I can go ahead and bring in two properties. So I'm going to, sorry, two virtual machine arguments, XMS. So that's going to be the initial size of the heap. So we're going to set it to 64 megabytes, which is pretty small, right? Um, we're also going to bring in XMX, which is the maximum size of the heap. A performance improvement uh, optimization. Maybe people like to read the sizes the same size, but we're not going to get into that in this tutorial. Um, and if you wanted to, if you want to change the heap dump location, you can add in heap dump path and set that to the location of wherever you're going to go. But we don't want that. We're fine with where it's going to go to start. So I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to close this. I'm going to clear my screen from the previous one and then I'm going to run this application and we're going to see an out of memory error. So don't worry about this visual VM. So here you can see out of memory over Java heap space. I'll go ahead and refresh this. And now you'll see the heap dump. So that's HPROF file. Okay. So now what we want to do is go ahead and launch Visual VM. If you don't know how to launch that, um, I suggest you check out my first tutorial on how to install Visual VM for IntelliJ, Spring Tool Suite, or Eclipse IDE. So go ahead and open up um, your Visual VM. And if you have not installed the plugin for um, IntelliJ or your IDE, you can go ahead and go to the bin directory of your JDK installation and launch JVisualVM from there. So let's launch that up. So what we want to do now is go ahead and load that heap dump into Visual VM. So you want to click load and then you want to Go to the folder which contains the heap dump and you want to change the file of type to heap dumps and now you'll see heap dump or if you have the full process name put it in and click OK or open sorry. So now what we're going to have is information here about our um, heap dump and what we're actually running on our bits and pieces. So you can see here we have threads like I said before these are all the threads that was going on when it executed. Um, you go to your classes and you can see that yeah okay we crashed because we have 2.7 million instances of a brick. Why would you want 2.7 million instances of a brick? I don't know. Maybe you know. Um, and obviously that's taken up a lot of size and that's the main reason why we crash with out of memory. So hopefully you guys, if you guys are experiencing out of memory, um, if you don't work in a, was it EP thermal or whatever it's called, a file system where it kind of vanishes once it crashes, you could put this in and you can see what's going on when your application actually crashes. So I hope this guys, uh, hope you learned something new. Make sure you subscribe to these series if you enjoy these videos. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next episode. So take care and have a great day.